Um, I just heard y'all say that y'all gonna like do his routines and things of that sort. I remember being at an event, I think it was at the Pyramid one time, and a DJ was in there and he actually did Sinister, your whole routine. How does that make you guys feel? Because just like you said, um, Rob, you said you know his routine, so y'all gonna do his routines because he was your group member, right. but there's guys out there that are now doing y'all routines like as if they was theirs. How does that make y'all feel? You know what I mean? um, Imitation is the best form of flattery, you know. So um, it sucks if someone's doing your stuff and not giving you credit, mm. and and the people he's doing it for may think he developed that style, or he created that routine. Um, that's annoying because then when I get in front of those people and do the same routine, they might think I'm actually biting from that guy or that girl or whatever. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know. You can't get too mad because, you know, I learned from people and there were times where I was at the house, you know, copying, sounding like Steve D, sounding like Aladdin, sounding like Marley Maul. Um, you know, you learn by imitating, you know, but the thing is, is at some point you have to then build what you learn, build on that, um, add on to it, uh, you know, perfect whatever style you, you, you admire and then turn it into your style, you know, and add more of your personality into it. So um, I'm flattered when people do my stuff, but at the same time, you know, it's important for people to also give credit where they're taking their shit from, you know? That's right, that's right. Um, cool Hurt, he just said on the, on the, the turntables, I mean on the sets. That you know what I'm saying? The low drivers, that's what I call the tricksters, turntables. It's good, it's good for business. Different levels of the and game. You guys would be like the Harlem Globetrotters of DJ. So, how would y'all say how lucrative is trip DJ? Man, it's, it's it's whatever you make it. You know, it's very lucrative. You know what I mean? There's a thousands of tricks to do. Um, you have to think of them. Um, we practice for hours. You know what I mean? We we sat around, we practice for hours, coming up with different things. I call Rob like, yo, I got this new body trick. You know, I'm trying to think of this new combination, how to go behind my back and then turn around and, 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 and put my leg up on the fader. Like, it's very lucrative. It's, it's very acrobatic. It's, it's, it's entertaining. You know, we're entertainers as well as artists. And when we're up there, we have to be entertainers as well. Um, trick, trick DJing is part of the entertainment. Like, you get up there and do some speed and some flash. Um, it's good eye candy for the crowd. You know what I mean? Especially if, you, if, if it's tight. Like, how Raider's tricks were. Raider was really tight in the pocket when he did his tricks. He really ambidextrous and he's flowing straight. Um, there's different aspects to the DJing game, but trick DJing is very lucrative. You know what I mean? Just like mixing is lucrative. The same thing for, for the ear, you know? I, I think that, um, you know, it's important to be well-rounded. The more you know how to do, the more work you're going to get. Um, you know, I made a name for myself as a battle DJ or a trick DJ, Harlem, Harlem glo Globe Trotting DJ, however you want to, you know, call it. Um, I, I managed to go on tour, you know, make money, support myself. Um, you know, to this day, you know, I support myself based on my ability to manipulate the turntables. That's how I earn a living. So it's also lucrative in that sense. But I don't just trick DJ, you know. Um, I pride myself on being able to mix and blend and being able to spin at a wedding or at a New Year's Eve party, or at a, you know, club on Friday night here in New York City, um, and not do any tricks, but just play music and play it in a way that people are gonna enjoy themselves and, and dance and, and have a good time. Um, I could also take my talents on the turntables and use them in the studio and make music and, and, and scratch and, and layer scratches upon scratches and, and, and turn one scratch into a, 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 a song, you know, and from from just layering it, layering it with different sounds. So I think being well-rounded is very important. And um, you know, the more you know how to do as a DJ, the more longevity you're gonna have, the more work you're gonna get. And you should never just box yourself into one category. Or oh, I'm just a trick DJ, or I'm just a club DJ, or I'm just a um, you know bedroom DJ. You, the more you do. The more longevity you're going to have, the more money you're going to have. Right.